And this one was just beside it, but it just... Yeah. But I have never... Where's the battery in this one, then? In here. It breaks. And oh, it's yeah. in there. That's how I know that was the one that caused the fire. Yeah. But that's different. Like, are they the same bike? No. Nope. Okay, so that's... Bike. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never seen so much concentrated heat. Steven, tell me about, uh, how long have you owned these? A day. So you just own them, and they, they, haven't been ridden, they haven't been ridden long anyhow, have they? Like, No, not at all. Like minutes? Minutes. Minutes since I'd owned them, in terms of operating hours. And I've never seen anything that intense in my life. Guaranteed. It's scary to think, though, how, you know, before this happened, you would have stored these in your house, no problem. Absolutely, they were destined for the garage. And it's just, it's a word to the wise about these people, to people that have these things. This can happen to anyone. It can. It can. And there's no warning, no nothing. Nothing. Yeah. I drove for, down to the Whistling Duck in Brighton, and the bikes just exploded in the back. Tell me, tell me, you were with your girlfriend? I was with my girlfriend. And you were just out for a Sunday? It was a Sunday, Sunday tour? It was Sunday, went into Brighton for lunch at the Whistling Duck. And as we pulled into the parking lot, the, um, the back of the truck was like in flames. Uh, the girl that was the waitress, she'd ordered, uh, called the police and then called the fire department. And that was it. When you looked at the back, what did you, like you were, you were- An inferno. It was an inferno absolutely an inferno and it took all of about less than less than five minutes um for the bikes to be completely destroyed believe it started in the battery area guaranteed were you worried about these things before i had no concern now never again wouldn't buy one again never what do you say about people that have these things? Like, you know, how, how cautious should they be? Because again, there's, I would say millions of these things, you know, everywhere, uh, you know, if this was in your house, you wouldn't have known. It was in my friend's garage last night. And I'm just glad that it didn't blow up there. And just no warning, no nothing. Nothing. And was the fire intense? Extremely. Just never would have thought of something like this happening, though, eh? Glad I wasn't on it. Okay, no, I'm just going to do a little bit of...